Hi, my name is Adnan Kandil and I work for Sendio Abe. Uh, we develop Thinlink. Uh, today, uh, me and my colleague Carl Mikaelson from the Software Development Department at Sendio uh, are going to talk to you about the latest release of Thinlink uh, 4.8.0. So, hi Carl, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> thanks for having me. Carl, it seems that we have a lot of interesting features and uh, fixes in Thinlink 4.8.0 and I would like to talk about these uh, features with you. So could you please tell us about uh, what are the major features that has been added to Thinlink 4.8.0? Well, uh, from um, high level, we've in improved the user experience when uh, there is a problem with their sessions. Um, the other big thing is that we've improved the performance of uh, Thinlink in scenarios where there are lots of concurrent users in your cluster. So those are the big things. And also, of course, as usual, many bug fixes and smaller stuff. Can you please tell us a bit more about performance improvements in the Thinlink server? Yeah, sure. Um, as part of the Thinlink server, we have this uh, this process that's continuously at a 10 minute interval uh, checks up on a Thinlink session to make sure it's still alive, it's, it's still there. And uh, we, in the past, we used, we used to do uh, a check for each session individually. Uh, that didn't scale as well as we hoped to in scenarios where you had thousands of users. So, what we've done is that we are checking all sessions on the same agent at, at once. So we can check, for instance, up to 50, 100 sessions in a single operation. That's uh, much faster and more efficient than we used to do it before. So, so from, uh, let's say from an end user perspective, this means that uh, sys admins are able to, uh, to add more concurrent users per cluster right now and we estimate uh, that capability to have grown maybe by double at least. I have no firm limits, but I don't doubt a second that we can double the amount of users merely based on the session verification times. There might be other bottlenecks, of course, uh, but this shouldn't be an issue anymore. I would also like to ask you, because you have been telling me that the HTML5 uh, has undergone a lot of improvements in uh, and the new release. Can you please tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. Uh, we have um, lots of smaller fixes, but also some of them are interesting to talk about in in this uh, setting as well. So one of the bigger thing is uh, this thing called double buffering. And we've introduced that to reduce the um, graphical artifact called tearing. This is when you get uh, often horizontal lines when you're watching a movie, for instance. So uh, this will, this new update will reduce tearing to as much as we can do it. But uh, there are also other features in the HTML5 client that we're looking at. And uh, uh, for instance, you can now use the horizontal scroll. In the past, you may have shown, seen that it, they were translated to a vertical scroll. That's no good, of course. Um, yeah. The control bar that is uh, on the left side of the screen in older releases can now be moved to the right side just by clicking and dragging it and this is uh, an improvement when you're using desktop environments such as Unity on Ubuntu where they have the launcher icons on the left and having this, um, uh, this toolbar on the right makes it much less in the way. Yeah. Thanks, Carl. And uh, is there any other areas of improvement uh, that you would like to talk to us about today? Yeah, sure. I mean, we in the Thinlink server, we made additional improvements to how we handle sessions that are um, that um, are unreachable right now. So in the past, if a um, Thinlink master and a Thinlink agent were unable to talk to each other, the session verification would and um, after about 30 minutes or so, it would mark the session as gone if there was a problem in communicating. What we've changed in this, re this release is that um, we have, instead of uh, discarding the session altogether, 
we have started to just marking it as unreachable. And then when the user connects uh, to a, a session that has been marked as unreachable, they will get the option if they want to start a new session, or throw away and discard the old one, or if they want to wait for the error to be resolved by their system administrator or their IT staff. So Is there a time limit for this waiting? I mean, uh, does the sessions get discarded after a specific time? Uh, assume, for example, that I am an end user sitting somewhere in a research uh, facility and for uh, some uh, reason there was a failure uh, in the connection in between the master and the agent. Uh, how long uh, and uh, I don't actually have any possibility to figure out uh, uh, when the service is going to be up and running again. Uh, how long do I have the possibility to preserve uh, my work in that case and come back to it and choose to resume it or to start a new session, as you said? Well, the, the time period, you have, you have, there is no limit to how long you have to wait. Uh, the the agents are of course m must still be up and running your programs, but if it's still there, it's you could wait forever. Uh, you've mentioned uh, before we start uh, the session that there has been some improvements uh, relevant to Windows integration. Uh, can you please talk to us a little bit about that? What has been done in that? Sure. So um, now when you um, connect to a Windows desktop you will get um, much nicer fonts thanks to a uh, new font smoothing uh, support. It's called ClearType for the technically minded. So that will make your session look more like uh, more like you expect to see it on your on your laptop on your home computer or so. Yeah. Uh, there has been also uh, some improvements which are relevant to Mac uh, OS uh, users as well. Carl, can you please tell us about that? Yeah, sure. This is a little one, but it's, it's nice. Yeah, I like it. Um, so when you have a... When you're running a thin client on Mac OS, on a Retina screen or a, just a regular high resolution screen, uh, the thin client, the user interface, will now be rendered in high resolution, so it looks crisp and uh, very nice. Um, the session isn't uh, high resolution yet, but we're working on it. Um, when do you expect uh, uh, our users to be able to start downloading our ThinLink uh, 4.8.0, at least the beta version of it? The beta version is out today. So yeah. to all to all of you, our uh, our existing customers or um, ThinLink users around the world uh, who really wants to uh, uh, explore uh, this new and exciting features, uh, improved uh, areas in in ThinLink 4.8.0, uh, please uh, go ahead and uh, type uh, www.sendio.com and then go to our download page and feel free to download the new version of ThinLink. Yeah, let us know what you think. Of course, your feedback is valuable to us and uh, it's definitely uh, much appreciated. Thank you so much and have a nice day.